Right, hello again. It has been a little while now since I last did a country streak, so I'm going to have a go at beating my PB of 16. 20 is what I'm aiming for, but I think that will take a lot of luck. And so on. So let's just jump in and see what comes up. You'll notice this timer going on. That's a new plugin that somebody made, which is helpful for speed runs, but obviously it doesn't really apply here. But interesting to see it. So, right, we have got somewhere in South America, and I would think it... Uh, well, Bolivia would have been my first instinct, but let's look a bit more closely. You see people in that kind of garb quite a lot in Bolivia. Um... Oh, look, look at those mountains, that's nice. Very nice. So, I will go for Bolivia, and I'm not going to think about it much more than that. So, let's just go somewhere like there. Okay. Just outside La Paz. Interesting sprawl that, isn't it? Look at that, wow. Right, okay, so that's one. I think, yep, just one. So, for number two, we have got... Huh. Okay, it's Lao. We are helped slightly by the fact we've got a flag, but we should be able to get it anyway. It does say something province. Ch But I think you would also be able to tell by the fact they're driving on the right with the yellow plates. Not that we can see too many of those yellow plates, but there's another. So, uh, where should we be then? That Vietnamese flag. Well, let's look at the names of the provinces. Okay, it that is it, isn't it? Champasak. So we're probably in this nice little town. So let's put it somewhere like that. Should do the trick. Yeah, with the hill there, that kind of made sense. But oh well. Right, we are on two now. Mighty two. So this one. Looks like it should be Taiwan. Can we tell if we drive on the right? I think we can. Uh, and just this kind of sign. Just associate with Taiwan. So let's go for that. Um, let's go there. Right. Okay. So we're on th uh, three. Just three. And now we've got a tough one. So, we've got some buildings on stilts. Which I see a lot in Cambodia, but... That's interesting. Ooh. Because I was wondering if it could be Indonesia. I think if it was, it would be Bali or was it called Denpasar? No, sorry, that's on Bali. What am I thinking of? Maybe I guess Bali or Lombok. I don't know. Um, can we work out where the sun is? That could be helpful. It, it's not easy to work that one out really. I'm going to try and look at the shadows and see if that does anything. It seems like it's pretty much overhead, if anything, slightly north. I still feel tempted to go for Cambodia though. What if it's Thailand? Thank God for that. Wow, okay. Feel lucky to have got past that one. But I'm on four now, so let's 
do our best here. This feels like, well, I kind of thought Japan. Bit strange. Can make out some buildings over there, maybe that could potentially be Japanese. Ah, oh, man. Hmm. Don't feel that confident, but I think if it was Japan, it would be one of these islands that's kind of down here. Let's try that. Yeah, it was. I guess it kind of reminds me of some places I've seen. But I didn't actually end up particularly close distance wise. So that's five. Very Asia heavy. Look at that, four locations not that far away from each other really. So that is five. Let's go again. Push towards ten, hopefully. Come on. Right, okay, this is good. We've got some nice clues. This is Turkey. Um, let's see if we can get fairly close. So... Right. Let's just go and look for the road numbers, maybe. Um, right. E88, will that come up? It will. So we've got Sivas there and Hafik. Okay, so we're. It's saying turn off for Zara. And Ordu, I'm guessing Ordu is further out this way. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right. So. We're on this bit of curve here. There's a small road that comes off there. It could be that. Let's go for there. Nice 5k to take us on to 6. So now we're in South America. And that's based on the architecture and the fact that the sun is up north. We've got the yellow road lines in the middle. Let's check this out. Okay, that's really helpful that that's Portuguese. That means I don't have to agonize over which country to choose because it has to be Brazil. Um, let's put it here. Campinas, right. So we're on seven. Without too much trouble so far, but don't want to speak too soon. Because whew, this one looks a bit tricky potentially. Um, weird road markings that I'm not familiar with. Does seem kind of like it should be North America somehow. Why is that? Maybe that kind of car. Maybe also the green street name. It's not that easy. I would be tempted to go for Canada, but I'm going to have to do it without overthinking, I think. Um, let's go around here in BC. Whew, okay, we're actually right near Whistler there. Okay, come on, that's good. That's good. That could have gone wrong, that one. Um... Okay, so we're on eight. This is for nine. Let's check it out. Looks suspiciously like Greek there, but let's just be sure. Don't see any reason why it can't be. That is Greek, isn't it? I can't, it's really quite blurry, but it has to be. That E I O at the end is. Surely Greek. Okay. Right. 
so wow so if not for that sign this round would definitely be very tough but let's see if that can actually save us Whew. well it looks kind of Hungarian doesn't it but a bit weird is there any reason this can't be Hungary no there isn't I don't think those posts I don't really know what the well, they look like in Hungary at all. Um, there's a 114 there. I'm wondering if that's a road number. This is for 10, by the way, so it's starting to get fairly serious. Um, I'm just having a scan for these place names. Nagy. There's a Nagy there. It's different, but at least that gives me some reassurance language wise so I'm not really sure if 114 is worth looking for because it might it could just be an exit number or something so I might just gamble There's another naggy, but not the right one. So I might just go for it. This is for 10, let's see. Okay, good. I think that's the one. What was 114 then in the end, just for future reference? Yeah, an exit. Right. Okay, nice. Pretty accurate there, mostly. Um, we're on 10, which is not bad. Let's just pray that I can keep it up for the rest of this game. Come on now. Still only halfway to 20, which goes to show. Okay, I have to say I don't like the look of this at all. Oh, shit. God. Oh man, this one could get me good. Oh, I was hoping for just a nice couple of easy ones to ease me into this game, but. And I can't make out anything from that, it's not clear enough. This is really tricky. Uh, I guess I should talk about the countries I'm thinking of going for, which would be kind of along this belt here, mostly. But it's, quite, it's obviously hilly for most of Poland, so it would be down in this area, probably. Even vaguely wondered about, I'm just not quite sure about the architecture. I'm ruling out Lithuania. That's not, that's not sensible guess at all. Um, Slovakia is definitely possible. I was even wondering if one of the more kind of green mountainous parts of Romania. No, I'm going to go to Slovakia. And if it's wrong, I'm just going to have to start again. 10 isn't shameful. But um, it would be great to just have a chance to push forward a bit more. Poland was somehow my th thought, even though it's hilly. I've just got to stop thinking about it. Oh, God. I was thinking there would be a chance it's Czechia, but I leant more towards Slovakia. Don't really know why. So that's 10. I'm going to give it one more shot. One more. Come on. Watch me get the first one wrong now. 10's not bad, but if I'm going for 20, I really need to be 
pushing way past that. So, God knows what kind of mistake I'm about to make here. But it seems, architecture-wise, it should be somewhere like Norway. So, I guess it's the first one, so I haven't really got anything to lose. I'll just go for that. Somewhere. Yep, right in the north. It was... Yeah. I kind of thought it could be quite northern, not quite as far as that, but doesn't matter. So we're on one. Now this is a funny looking place. Seems like it should be US, but it's a little bit odd. So let's have a look. Well, it says US something, and ink is obviously, and it even says Exus. So let's go for, well, could it be Texas? But, well, I'll put it there. You can see this kind of landscape, I think. I'm not sure exactly where, but let's put it up here. Okay. Arkansas. At least it's not a state streak. Right. Okay, we're on two. Let's, okay, this is Cambodia. That's nice and easy. Angkor beer. Um, easier than the last Cambodia one we had so this should be for three nice Oof. now it gets hard again so am I crashing out on three don't do that to me please it's one of those weird ones where you just, I can't really ever place it Like, I can't even pick a rough area necessarily. Kind of tempted to go for Mexico. Even though at first I thought it would be Europe. God damn. I'm going to make a mess of this, aren't I? Please be Mexico. Thank God. Right. We live to see another day, although... Right, come on now. Jesus Christ. Argentina seems like a sensible guess, but not too confident. The sun is in the north. We've got the yellow road lines. I'm sure it is South America, but beyond that, all I can do is just go with my gut, which is Argentina. Not really sure whereabouts, but I'll put it, I don't really know, somewhere around here. No way. That's a kind of weird looking area of Peru. So that was not great as a follow up attempt. But I got my 10. Literally just halfway to 20. It seemed like 10 was quite a lot, but 20 really is a lot. So I'm going to have to sharpen up a bit and do better than that next time. But I did want to keep this up and keep trying my country streaks. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.